Wait, what? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted up the game. <laughs> a lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 p.m. and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I didn't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting up are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. <laughs> That's so cool! What is up, my cranky crew? It's Ethan from Crank Game Blaze, and today we are back in more of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I recorded the first video right before I left for the second leg of tour, and I've been thinking about it ever since. Uh, it, it is such an amazing game and such a cool experience. So now we're back, uh, and we're gonna see what else we can do and what other secrets and fuckery we can cause. So I think. What we had done in the last video, I think, was going through... Ah, yes. New, new content. All right, before we do new, new content, because that's where I went last time, we're going to go through here. So last time I was here, I went through the door on the right, but I'm going to go through the door on the left this time and see what other things we can mess around with, because I think this side, I've only followed the directions. Do not alter Stanley without consulting whiteboard to manager. What to do about 432? Don't tell 432 about my meeting. <laughs> Tomorrow, complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Refleet. Repeat. Refleet. Wait. Employee, 417, 491, 431, 405, 416, and Jim? Who's Jim? Who is Jim? That's the only one with a name. Is he another employee? Get Chris out of the blue. Wait, who's Chris? Okay, we're gonna go through here now. Ooh, the broom closet. I can open it. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there Wait. was nothing here. So what he was... turned around and got back on track. Oh, I can't go back in. What was said about the broom closet? There was something, something was said about the broom closet. Also, in the in the first video that I made, no to um, make, no path to follow. a bunch of people were, no to still be here. were impressed that I saved my jumps, which I thought was funny. I don't know. It I probably won't do it's anything. Baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom mm. closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As but it what? is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet fa. <laughs> Sweet FA. If I just stay in here for a minute. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah. Standing around doing nothing? Yeah. Why? I don't know, Please I just offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I just wanna see if it does anything. You know? I wanna see what happens. Maybe you'll give me something to do. You know? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? I don't know. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, mm -hmm. at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Yeah. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. But I'm making I my own story. It. Hmm. Anything else? Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. See? See? When you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom <laughs> closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Oh, that's really funny. I'll title this video, Stanley The Broom Closet Ending. Really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Whoa, what the, the hell? hell? Drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. What? Why are you saying this? I'm just in the broom closet, my guy. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, mm -hmm. and were just about to leave because there's mm -hmm. nothing here mm -hmm. when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation mm. like this, 
The responsible thing is to alert someone nearby ah. so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Yes, it's very responsible of you. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, mm. the person at this computer is dead. Mm. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. Yes. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming mm. so that the irony and insightful mm -hmm. commentary of this game is not lost on them. Good. All right. <laughs> when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. <laughs> what if I don't, though? Like, that's the cool thing about this game is it feels like I can just kind of do anything and they've thought about it. You know? Unless, maybe. Maybe this is the end. Well, gamers, that's the broom closet ending, it seems. Hell yeah. One of the first people to get it. All right, here we go. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. I'm <laughs> the monkey mind that controls too. The fish, fungus. Uh, Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. Okay. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Okay. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's so office. So here we go. I haven't gone downstairs yet. I don't think, at least. Oh. What's this? What does this say? I can't read it. Whoever's editing. Boost it up. Bring it. Zoom it. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote you... I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to school. It's what the cool kids are doing. Decided work is back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sewing each other's pages for their keepers. <laughs> But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put fun in a beeper? Okay. <laughs> Fire hose. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he oh. taken that risk? What's All this because car? he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe Can I, get I am crazy. You're not crazy, Stanley. All of my Stanley. co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Mm. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example... Why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Mm -hmm. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? <laughs> no, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. Which he was? He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Ah, you think it's a dream, this is all Stanley. A dream. Ah, but no, it's a video game. It felt to have it's a video an answer, an explanation. game. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he mm. thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined oh. himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Whoa! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field 
and it too appeared. It was so much oh. fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all huh? entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? <laughs> now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Coffee believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. <laughs> After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely. Your conscience. He, just... he would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket oh. on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up. He thought to himself, "Wake I'm up, Stanley." With this dream, I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons, please. It's all I want. I hmm. want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. But it wasn't a dream, Stanley. We're Stanley back. began screaming. Please, <laughs> someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Are Please you real? Someone. Tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Stanley? You all right, pal? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But is on that this Stanley? particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming. That's himself, Stanley! And then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Huh. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The <laughs> very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> it's so interesting, like... Thinking of why they did that there, you know, like what did they? I don't know. It's interesting. All, All right, well, were gone. back to what the beginning. What we'll do now? We're not gonna do the new new content yet. We're gonna go to the door on the left, and then we're gonna go up to the boss's. Yet there was not a single person room. here either. All right, so here we go. Let's see. What else we can do here? I don't think there's anything in the bathroom. I've got the feeling. Money's for stealing. But not yours, of course. Sash. So. So. Boy, that's a lovely purse. Who am I? 
All right, let's go to the boss's office in here, all right? Ooh. Did I s see this room before? Business strategy. Up! Up! Let's go up! Huh. Classic. Oh, classic. Did you guys hear that? You guys are hearing that, right? <laughs> it's the voice. <laughs> He's humming. How long is this? How far up are we going? Hello? Oh? Is it? Wait, did it sim- Is this just simulating an elevator? Is it not actually going anywhere? I don't think it's actually real. Here. I'm gonna press up again, because up is fun. Because I have to pee anyway. So when I come back, we'll see if it actually does anything. Okay? So, editors, put it in if anything happens at all. Put a nice little time lapse or something. I don't know. Is this thing working? Okay, great, great. Uh, he seems to be gone. Yes. Are you in the Are you in the bathroom yet? Uh, I'm sure he is. Um, hi. Well, I'm going to try and entertain you while Ethan takes care of his um urges. Um, are you enjoying Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? I think it's very fun. It's very interesting. It's a fascinating video game, isn't it? Uh, I do enjoy myself some meta you know i i think it's a very clever game it's uh brought some some very nice laughs out of me and i i hope you guys have been um you know laughing a lot too uh it's a it's a very interesting experience you should definitely play yourselves as well i'm not sure if if ethan over here is getting all the endings or not but Man, it sure is a right, isn't it? It's uh, yeah. I think you're, you're, you're yeah. I'm not, I'm not really sure what else to say. I'm just kind of like trying to make time over here, you know, like a time lapse. Time lapse. I don't know. I just kind of feel, I just kind of felt a little bit boring to make a time lapse. I mean, what, what, what even would be in the time lapse? Just, just, just an elevator vibrating even faster than what it already is. Yeah. Um, I don't think that would be funny yeah. is this funny are you entertained is this something that's keeping your attention in the video while if is um in his bathroom um uh, feeding his toilet that's a weird term to use uh but yeah it's what do you think of the elevator huh it's a funny bit, isn't it? Yeah, I I wasn't expecting the elevator to just take you to the same place, but <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But um, yeah, I guess what else would you expect from 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 Stanley Parable, from an experience such as Stanley Parable? I remember Stanley Parable in 2013 and watching the videos on it. I don't remember who I watched play it. I think it might have been Jack. Yeah, I think I think that sounds about right. And I was very amused. I was very amused. I thought it was very funny because I really like um, 
when when things break the fourth wall. I think it's very fascinating. It's really funny. Haha, -ha. he brings the funny hahas -ha to to me. And I actually had no idea that Ultra Deluxe was going to be a thing. And so when I saw that it was indeed a thing, I was like, hey, look, it's Stanley Parable. And the fact that it's... um. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. And the fact that it's just um, the same... Well, the first minutes of the game are the same, but then there's like so much built around it. I think it's really, really interesting. Um, I And you guys are gonna see throughout the rest of the video. It's uh, <laughs> It gets really, really cool. Um, how many, How many more seconds? I'm looking at the timeline right now. It's 20 minutes, 43 seconds. Ethan comes back in around four minutes um i'm not sure if i can entertain you for four more minutes um maybe i could count the seconds like 56 57 58 59 21 minutes and one second two seconds three seconds four seconds five seconds six seconds seven seconds eight seconds nine seconds 10 seconds, 11 seconds, 12 seconds, 13 seconds, 14 seconds, 15 seconds, 16 seconds, 17 seconds, 18 seconds, 19 seconds, 20 seconds, 21 seconds, 22 seconds, 23 seconds, 24 seconds, 25 seconds, 26 seconds, 27 seconds, 28 seconds, 29 seconds, 30 seconds, 31 seconds, 32 seconds, 33 seconds, 34 seconds, 35 seconds, 36 seconds, 37 seconds, 38 seconds, 39 seconds, 40 seconds, 41 seconds, 42 seconds, 33 seconds, 44 so seconds, 45 seconds, 46 seconds, 47 seconds, 48 seconds, 49 seconds, 50 seconds, 51 seconds, 52 seconds, 53 seconds, 54 seconds, 55 seconds, 56 seconds, 57 seconds, 58 seconds, 59 seconds, 22 minutes, 22 minutes in one second. I'm not going to keep going, um, That's but that's eight. That's already two minutes of the four minutes that... I had to entertain you that are gone, so now I just have to entertain you for one more minute in 50 seconds, so um, I'm glad about that. So um, yeah, Ethan, I'm sorry if you have to hear through all of this, trying to see if I'm saying any swear words that I would have to censor, but I would have censored those, or saying something that I w would get you cancelled, but I wouldn't do that. Nah, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm just here um, entertaining this wonderful community while you take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uh, this is funny. Okay, there's one more minute and six seconds. Uh, so, uh, yeah, how was your day? I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget, you can do anything you put your heart into. Uh, <laughs> or something. No, for real. You got this. I hope you have a great, wonderful day. My time here is almost over. I hope you enjoy uh, whatever you're gonna do after you finish watching this video. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this video. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's a very, very fun, good video, if I do say so myself. And, uh, yeah. And, um, I sure hope that it is is recording my voice. Oh, wait, no, yes, it is. Good. Good, because you know sometimes Windows settings changes by themselves, and then you go to check, and a hey, didn't record anything after all, and then you get really bummed and sad, because you did really good, and then when you try to repeat it, it's not as good as the first time. I'm sure Ethan can relate. Speaking of Ethan, I'm sure he's almost back, so I need to dip before he hears me. Oh, there he is! Bye, Didn't bye. Like <laughs> Just act normal. Nope. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny though kind of funny all right let's go to and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number two eight four five but of course stanley couldn't possibly have known this yet incredibly <laughs> by simply pushing the buttons on the keypad Look at us. stanley happened to input the correct code mm -hmm. by sheer luck amazing now comes the time to make new decisions. What if instead we went? Oh, okay. It all it always goes down. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Spencer. He's freaking out about his bed because it's not fluffed correctly. I'm talking about Spencer. He's just like digging in it. And he normally does that, but he's like going insane right now. Spencer, do you want me to help you, bud? Here, let me help you. <laughs> Here you go, Bubba. Here you go. Here you go. What? What? Is that a little better? There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right, so now... Straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But what if we went through the escape route this time? Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, yes. the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. But would I, though? But would I meet my violent death? And how? And if the so, door how? The him was not shut. Uh -huh. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Mm -hmm. But... At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted mm -hmm. effort to walk forward. Yes, I am. May confront his death. Well, but what if it's not my death, though? I don't know for sure that it will be my death, you know? What's down this hole? See, we don't know for sure that it is... Ah-ha-ha! -ha! See? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, oh. it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. What, am Perhaps I trapped forever? Was of no great loss, like what about this? What about over here? Blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow well, life. But Farewell, Stanley. Is there anything that I can do? What if it's... Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. But... And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Whoa. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead? Is this my office? Is that? Start? I think it is. Office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development through the core layout, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Wow. Huh. And there's the two doors. Isn't that cool? The set, of, the set of two doors were the very first concrete piece of Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the con uh, contradiction this room posed. Corridor. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. The corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Office computer. Are there only three? Ah, damn. <laughs> That's so cool. Button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game where buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. <laughs> These are the credits. That's so cool. Based on the work of the Stanley Parable 2013 team. Okay, hold on. I want to go over here first, maybe. 431 through 436. Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. This is so cool. They just made a museum. Muse museum? Museum. 
Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on the battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Damn. That's so cool. In, early, in December 2018, we announced the Ultra Deluxe version of the Stanley Parable at the Game Awards. These are screenshots of the videos we made for the announcement and the game's delay. Huh. <laughs> After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these further, uh, further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. That's so cool. It's so cool just building a museum about your game into the game. But I feel like it, it could like really only work with this kind of game. The previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Oh. Look at this. It's amazing, isn't it? What's this? Countdown desk. One of the desks from the early version of the countdown ending. <laughs> Here's Stanley's office. Wow. Oh, it's different versions. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. <laughs> it's so cool. All right. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But oh. listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Oh. What do I do? I'm gonna see what happens. When I quit. I think it's just gonna start me over, isn't it? This is the storm. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. I wonder what would have happened if I let it I think it probably would just have me start over. It's time for new new content, baby. Oh good. You notice my sign. Yeah, the yes, new new content. I have something very exciting to show you. Yes, the new new content. I'm very excited. Mm. What do you have for me? You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and mm. about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. Yes. The original Stanley parable was a mm. landmark. And any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Okay. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step One even. step further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. The Stanley Parable 2! Wow. Yes, you see, isn't 
this far superior to a measly for two seven you minor additions think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged show an entirely new experience built taste the, the sequel up. why there are so many possibilities it could go in so many different directions this is what fans have truly been asking for have they though been asking for Stanley Peril I feel like there can't be a second like Calling what it would Stanley it be Parable 2 is just so much catchier than ultra deluxe don't you think ultra deluxe what does it even mean but the new content is Parable out too now that <laughs> new content part two is right in it's future oriented it screams oh, progress and innovation and long-term <laughs> franchising potential boring sections of the chart cool red section of the chart they're back. Two doors. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. I, I do have to say, the new branding with the red, it is sexy. It is sexy. New mug. Oh. Wow. The Stanley Parable Part 2 logo ideas. Damn. Can I, can I go through these a little bit? Or? Oh. I do, I do like that logo the best of those. Thanks for my attention. <laughs> Thanks for attending my meeting. <laughs> the Stanley T Parable with the T. Oh, God. Graphic design is my passion. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow. Now, to be clear, Whoa. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. But okay. let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Mm. Scrum. That if Design I can loosely page. organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring <laughs> up around them. <laughs> Who took the red so marker? Hard. Me. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. The prequel to the Stanley Parable 2 is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> 2. 2. Valued investors. New features. It is sexy. I've got to say. Oh, and we've got this nice little step and repeat here. Damn. Wow, they really put a lot in here. here we are. Is this where all the investment Try money went to? Ah, like merch. Look at that. I saw the new content. <laughs> I saw the new content. This t-shirt is the best new feature. Wow. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Wow. Damn. What is this? Please, no screenshots. A whole new office. 999 is the new orange. The new... What is... What is the buzzing? Is that... A real thing? The baby is all grown up. Bankruptcy. <laughs> Ray traced. More of the same, but in a good way. Consistent quality with just the right amount of change. New features, new content, new ideas. The button that says the name of the player. Jump circle. <gasps> the jump circle. Infinite hole. Wait, where's the jump circle? Where's the circle? <gasps> I st I did save my jumps! You know what, Stanley? I actually think the jump circle was a pretty good idea. I'd like to hang on to that for the sequel. Cool. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna jump. I'm not gonna jump because I want to keep my jump still. Look at that! I didn't waste my jumps. I did not waste my jumps. Whoa. Reassurance bucket. That's new. The epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yeah. yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Okay. Oh, <gasps> wait. For the Stanley Parable No, I want Oh, I didn't know. What I wanted to go explore really more. And of course, the 
first and most obvious answer is that they want to too be big, too small, just right, and validated as people. So, with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which okay. speaks the name of the person playing the game. Okay. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Uh, but of course, in the okay. final game, this button will say your name, okay. whatever name that is. Here, okay. Let's have you role play as Jim okay. to Great. really simulate the full experience of this feature. I am Jim. Okay. Along. I promise you'll love okay. it. Okay. Ready? Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? I feel it. Are you it. really, truly Jim right I am, now? I am if Jim. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Yes. What is up, my cranky crew? It's Jim from Cranky Plays It Today. We are here in the Stanley Parable 2. I am so excited. Uh, the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. This is one of their new features that they're adding. Uh, so let's see if it actually works. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's crazy, dude! It actually knew my name! How did they do that? How do they... Hold on. Jim. And it doesn't even, like, cycle through different names. It's actually... How did they code that? That's insane. Alright. Uh, damn, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, this is Jim signing off. Hey guys, it's me. I'm back. <laughs> Here, yours today. <laughs> Hold on. Name. Everyone's got one. Oh, we can go back. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm glad. Because I wanted to look at some of the other stuff that they had in here. Like the reinsurance bug. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. Mm. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Yes. That's crazy. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's okay. the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me the than the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Whoa. <laughs> Can you feel it? The reassurance. The even in the face of crushing despair, must Whoa. already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? You think so? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Oh, the benefits stop. of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? They do. I All like this it. and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Damn. I can keep the bucket. I can keep the bucket? Oh my god, dude, this is Does anyone give genius. out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an... Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. Uh. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like hmm. balloons. But I'm undecided on <laughs> get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? I like happy 12th birthday step niece. You know, 
Sometimes when you solicit another person's mm -hmm. opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. And get well someday it is. Wait, you asked me. <laughs> Motherfucker. What an asshole. Oh, there it is. Get well someday. Or actually, All right. maybe I should have gone with. No. Nope. I've made my decision. We're moving Light on. Pulse. Jump circle. New easy achievement. It just works. Get yours right now. Now, here's something special. Yeah. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this leave. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Oh, right you now, asshole. The achievement <laughs> is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the uh, sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans that. all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. Gamers! I it will happen. <laughs> what else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? All right. Well, what if we go... What's down here? What is down here? Oh, the rim. <gasps> Wait. Is this the infinite hole? Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Should I do it? Or... Because what, what if I don't want to fall for an infinite amount of time? Is this the end of this? Like, what if I... But what if I don't want to fall for infinity? What's up here? Oh, I can't go up there. Cause what if I uh, what if I don't want to be done with this section? The exit. The exit uh, is over here. So maybe let's let's see if we can go to the exit. Cause I don't I don't want this to be done. I want to see what else is in store in this. I just don't want to fall for infinity. Oh goodness, um, Stanley, this is fairly awkward. I I hate to do this, but before you leave, you really should go to the collectibles okay. exhibit. You okay. see, there I is thought a you were going to make me fall down the infinite hole. on you later, and it involves the collectibles. Mm. And I really do hate to break the illusion, but it's important that you go see the collectibles. Okay. 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 All right, I'll get out of your hair now. All right, I'll... Whoa. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That was incredible. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game yeah. and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. <laughs> this is so damn cool. All right, let's see if it'll let us leave. It might not though. Oh. Oh. I thought maybe that bag. What does this look like? This looks like a weird, like, Holocaust museum. Am I wrong? Oh. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yeah. Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how where exactly we, where these we features sit? will Let's come sit. together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... It's great. Okay, never mind.
Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. No, it's good. I got jumps back. Yes. Yes. This is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version two. I, I don't. I don't think this is any better. Kidding, Stanley. There's two this infinite isn't a coherent holes. Video game at all. It's a lot of gags, and I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I okay. wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure mm. and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Yes. Of course, uh -huh. with respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Yeah. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. <laughs> Damn. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Is it going to be the same? Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four. Look, there's the balloon. Employee number 427's job was uh -huh. simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Is Orders this... came to him through a monitor at the Is desk, this exactly the same? What buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. I think it and is the same. Others might have Hold on. There's balloons now. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> Stanley picked up the bucket. <laughs> what else can I... Wait, so there's the jumps. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly mm -hmm. to his chest and entered the door on his hand. Okay. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Okay, okay, let's see. Anything in the broom closet? Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The what? aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom <laughs> closet believes it deserves the bucket. <laughs> It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed Damn. to go with the other cleaning Damn. supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders but right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk <laughs> that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. Uh -huh. Even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? <laughs> that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I've never. Listen. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet yeah. off for its demeaning comments. Listen. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. <laughs> listen, listen, we can make this go full circle. Maybe we okay, can, actually. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. 
<gasps> there. Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. I'm just saying, he's Coming not wrong. Staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. He's not wrong. Now it, it, it is my bucket, you know. What about in the bathroom? Wait, wasn't there a thing about... <gasps> found one of them. One of the yes. Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only mm. the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't yeah. buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. <laughs> so, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did this say something about buckets? No. Hmm. Okay. Well. Let's just go then. To the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. <laughs> and he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the I love the bucket not? arc. Was it's so good. Guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical oh. explanation. Is this this is the same, right? Yes. The bucket arc is without a doubt the best thing. The elevator raced downward plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Damn. The bucket is here for me, you know? Everything will be okay. Stanley and the as bucket walked straight ahead bucket. through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yes. We're gonna play by the rules. You know, me and the bucket, we've got things to do. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. <laughs> Is it literally the same, but it's just the bucket now? I think it is. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped no, the bucket. No, don't, shock. don't Everyone drop the bucket. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. Mm -hmm. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Oh, employee one. Wait. There was employee one, but there was also a yellow thing. Was the bucket under the What's mind that? control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? Damn. These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. <laughs> His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter, his one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Damn. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, 
Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. But what does the bucket for he want? And the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high fived in a really cool way, <laughs> and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. But what if we pressed? But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the oh button my to turn on God. the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket could have be. betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared How could to you, throw bucket? the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. <laughs> silly. Silly birds. Silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Whoa. What kind of bird? I like this bird. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a bird facility. It was facility. a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over <laughs> the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom Fuck. because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. <laughs> of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was oh, surely the man. best. Surely the and best. Stanley was happy. Is this it? Oh my fucking god. All right, the sequel is now part. Of course it is. All right, guys, I am going to end this one here. Who knows? You know, the end is never the end is never the end. But who knows? You know, where does it end? Hmm. We may never know. Well, anyway, let me know what you thought of these silly birds. Um, what a what a fucking game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is up, my cranky crew?